Hey guys, it's Fancy Summer, and welcome back to not a speed build, but another building type video. Uh, this is going to be a renovation of um, the nursery from my Roosevelt LP. If you watched that one, you would know that we just had a baby, and uh, it is a baby boy, <laughs> but um, the entire house here is uh, pink. It's my, it's the little like theme we're going with. So um, I decided to just kind of make everything look girly, even though it. Sh even though there's a boy, but uh, I feel like Tiffany would just be crazy enough to make it pink even if there was a boy. So uh, yeah, um, well, I kind of plan on having a lot of babies in this LP, that's why I am making or putting a little bit more effort into this than I normally would. Um, when it comes to my Let's Play houses, which I, I should change, I should put more effort into them all the time, but um, j for this one, we'll start with this one. So. Um, yeah, what was I going to say? I had something to say and I already brain farted it out of my system. Hmm. Um, oh, okay. So, what I was saying. <laughs> I do plan on having a lot of babies in this. She is kind of crazy and she is probably going to have a lot of babies with a lot of people and I don't know how long we'll have them, but we'll have them while they're babies because she'll obviously give birth to them while they're there. So, um, we're going to make a little nursery here and uh, it is really, really small, but I did expand it a little bit. You will see that in a minute. But basically what happened is that I completely, you'll, you'll see the whole thing happen, but I make this like general looking nursery. It wasn't too detailed or anything, but, um, then I completely changed it and then it was too detailed. And then I changed it again. So um, yeah, you'll see you'll see that happen. So there you can see I did expand it. It was a little too small, and we had a little bit of extra space over there in the hallway. So I just expanded it a little bit. This part over here stays more the same than anything else. Everything else changes a few times. So I put the baby on the side over there, and that's where I just decided to put it. But it is a little dark over there, so we do change that. As that was like the first thing I noticed was that it was a little dark so we do put some lights over there and um, I had a few ideas for what I wanted to do but um, you'll see that I'll put down um, a lot of like toys and stuff which of course makes sense but um, at the same time it, it's a nursery and not a kids room so like I changed it to maybe make it look like it was more for babies and not for children and uh, yeah so yeah you can see like the toys starting to up here here on this little end table and I like that little lamp with the panda I've never used it before so or you know what <laughs> here I go again I say I've never used it but I probably have you guys always catch me on that but um yeah so over here that little bench table entertainment center I don't know what it is I don't care what it is it's adorable and I absolutely love it so oh we are using it I've never seen it before I'm not in pink you know what I bet this house has it in pink and I just don't recognize it but anyways that plant over there those really really pretty like cherry blossom type flowers I love them I think they look so so cute but like they just I don't know they stick out too much for me in this in this room so we ended up changing it to hmm it was an it was flowers you'll see you'll see I remember what it is but you'll see it's a surprise and uh, that bunny ends up leaving this I'm telling you like this whole thing takes like a couple of whirlwinds a whole couple of changes but like that's the general gist of it right there what you see now and uh, here I was just trying to pick out a rug and I ended up going with the, the little circle one uh, that ended up matching a little bit better than the other ones because it just uh, it needed something that is the that was the winner and um, here is where I started to do stuff on the walls and I liked the idea of what I had but it was a little too cluttered so I ended up changing it oh and here okay this this was when it started to, <laughs> to change into more of a nursery than like a kids room I started to put down a lot of like cleaning type supplies like you can see I'm putting my tissues like hiding over here on the floor just you know like just in case tissues maybe you could maybe they're like baby wipes or something um, but uh, yeah and you'll see I'll do some more stuff like that um, towards the end of this video which I actually loved once I was done with it I was like that is so cute like I like that so much more and um, yeah and those little hearts on the wall those wooden hearts are from outdoor retreat so um, if you want to download this room you can actually it is on the gallery um, but if you don't have out if you don't have outdoor retreat then um, you won't you won't get those uh, those hearts I think that's the only thing from Outdoor Retreat that I used, and there's no custom content. I don't have custom content objects. I don't really, I don't really like them. I feel like they kind of glitch out sometimes, so I just stay away from them. 
And um, yeah, so again, I, I, I don't know. See, like, I kind of like how I had it, but at the same time, look at that. It just looks so freaking cluttered. Like, ugh, I just, no. It just makes my OCD angry. <laughs> it's just yelling at me this entire time. Then I put some ribbons on the wall. I feel like maybe those would be Tiffany's ribbons and not a baby's ribbons because, like I said, she's, like, super crazy. And I feel like she'd be kind of conceited like that and put her own stuff in the baby room. But, um, yeah. And then I had the idea of going with some balloons, but I just couldn't find a place where they didn't look weird. So, uh, they, they didn't work out. And then here was where I started to get the idea for towels. And I wanted to put some on the wall, but, again, nowhere really looked good. So I, uh, ended up putting them on that little, like, dresser slash entertainment center and then um, I got the idea for a screen I've been trying to use these a little more lately they're really really pretty so I've been trying to use them lately and uh, wanted to use one here to separate like the little lounge area from the actual like baby area uh, I was definitely using a lot of move objects for this room but um, I, I did make sure that everything worked that the sim could get to uh, every chair and every object that they could interact with that they could actually get to it in the can. So I tested it like multiple times and then I kept switching those back and forth because I didn't know which one I liked. I kept it like that with the couch on that side and like the back wall. And uh, yeah. And then later on I was really, really contemplating if I wanted that lamp there or not. I did end up keeping it because I tried a bunch of other ones and they just, and it just didn't look as right. So yeah. And um, I, w I think now is like when we started to really, really make the like drastic changes. So here is the flowers. I used that little column pedestal thing and put those cute little roses on there. I thought they looked really cute. And it was kind of random, but like her house, like she is a fancy lady. This isn't a super, super fancy house, but it's really girly. Like that, that just looks girly to me, so it fits. And um, I put, no wait, I think I had moved the lunchbox to the floor and then re-put it back up there. I'm not sure, but this is where I put the towels. I did use move objects and the uh, nine number key to uh, raise it up and uh, put those towels on top of each other. So I, I really, 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 really love the way that that looks. I don't know why, but those towels are one of my favorite things in this whole room. I know that's probably really sad, but it's okay. It's okay. Um, but yeah, towels make sense because it is a baby's room and accidents happen. So, uh, yeah. I put some towels there and then this is where I started to like, you know, see how like the wall is just like so cluttered. I completely changed the entire walling. Walling. <laughs> it almost sounds like Wally. But uh, yeah, I put the little clouds over on the other side on top of that large mirror. And um, I can't remember what I did in front of the uh, little... God, what is that called? In table. I can't remember what I did, but I put those little hearts on the other side along with the calendar. Oh, I put the tree right there. So it's like it's coming out of the, um, out of that nightstand. Like the tree is like growing out of it. Yeah. Thought I was super creative on that one. And, uh, yeah. So I think that's like pretty much the gist of it. I moved the little tissue boxes around trying to find where I wanted to put them. Oh, here we go. Here's with the freaking lunchbox. Cause I was going to put it like on the ground, but I think I ended up just putting it back on the thing. Where did I put those? I honestly don't remember. I did this last night and I was like really tired. <laughs> really, really tired. But yeah, I put a bunch of tissue boxes everywhere because I, I don't know. I mean, like I said, accidents happen. You need cleanup. But uh, here are some pictures. There aren't that many. There's a few. But you guys can see that it is very, very pink and very, very cute. I love this nursery. I think it is so cute. It's very small, but I like it. And uh, I think it's definitely an improvement. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you all in my next video. Bye, everyone.